Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to see you back, and we are on the day of the eclipse and uh, the planet of love and romance and beauty. Venus has transited into the sign of Aquarius. This is a very important transit because Venus is a very key planet in the current transits because most uh, most of the transits like most of the planets which are involved in the eclipse are in purva shada especially sun is there so therefore venus is the lord of purva shada so this transit becomes very important because wherever the uh, nakshatra lord is sitting those flavors you will get during the transit all right therefore we shall discuss this transit in short and as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit, you can always go to the description section down below to find the link of my website. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So what is Venus? We all know what Venus is. But now Venus is different. Venus is like currently the situation of Venus is he is the deciding planet because even Jupiter is in his nakshatra, Venus's nakshatra, Purvashada. Jupiter has just entered, in fact. And Saturn has just left the nakshatra of Venus. It's a very interesting energy. Mercury is there in Purvashada too. So now Venus has gone into Aquarius. And in Aquarius, the nakshatra of Dhanishtha is where Venus is currently hovering because Dhanishtha spans from Capricorn to Aquarius. So therefore, what is Dhanishtha nakshatra? Dhanishtha nakshatra, any planet in Dhanishtha can give you a tendency to celebrate or at least boast externally. Not boast exactly, that could happen if the planet is afflicted. But in a good way, it can mean that you like to share your happiness with others, which is perfectly fine, which is good, in fact. But yes, if it is afflicted, then it can lead to boasting and uh, speaking things unnecessarily. So therefore, during this transit of Venus, which is the Lord of Purvashada, we will experience the feeling of wanting to share things with others. So wherever the Gemini Sagittarius axis is falling in your chart, depending on your ascendant, should I repeat? The Gemini Sagittarius axis, wherever it is falling, depending on your Lagna ascendant, that is where the eclipse is happening and that's where the game is taking place. But three houses away from Sagittarius is Aquarius. Wherever, wherever Aquarius is falling in your chart, depending on your ascendant again, that is the place through which you will try to fulfill the agenda of the Gemini Sagittarius axis. Because here, uh, the Gemini Sagittarius axis becomes very crucial because Jupiter is the lord of the sign and he is himself sitting there. And as I said in the eclipse video, you will feel that there is a need to change something. In fact, you will feel that you already know or you already knew that one day you had to do this. But somewhere deep down inside, there was a feeling inside you which told you that oh, maybe it still works without doing this or it still can work without this. But now gradually as this eclipse is going to take place, you will realize that yes, it can still work, but it's still not going to work. It means that if you continue doing things the way you have been doing in some area of your life, then it could happen that you reach the result, you get the result, you reach the destination, but you don't find that fulfillment. So what does it mean? It's like saying, my guru used to say, you know, operation successful, but patient is dead. 
so have you seen any doctor who come comes out of the operation theater and says oh i have done a very good job you know operation is successful but the patient is not alive anymore so then uh, what would you say to that doctor yes even if the operation is successful the patient is dead so the operation the successful operation was useless so so during this transit of venus we have to understand that reaching the goal is not very important or i would say it is important but that's not the end goal what you become during the journey is more important because they say what you become while you go is more important than who you become once you reach so suppose somebody takes a determination you know i will climb the mount everest yes very good there are people who have done it so now that person starts step wise and then he reaches the top of the mount everest but then what happens well of course that's a very big achievement but there is no uh, tangible value there you know it's not that he is getting some money or you know some some of course he may get name fame recognition but the journey that he had taken from ground zero to mount everest that completely transformed him him or her anybody as an individual and that is more important than reaching some point in the mount everest because any point in the mount everest is it's ultimately just a point imagine the mount everest was double the size you know, then this top would be you know halfway so that's not important where where that point is or how much high the mount everest is above the sea level that's not very important that that is still important that gives you the landmark that gives you the end goal but the path is even more important because if if you enjoy the path if you enjoy the journey that life is taking you through then even if you don't reach the goal you will you won't be morose you won't be sad you won't be heartbroken but i have seen people they reach their goal and then they think we are there but they are still at the same place you know it, it is said when uh, kamsa would fight with you know krishna kamsa was krishna's uncle as we know so krishna had to kill kamsa because he was a very wretched demon he was a very sinful person and he had terrorized the entire universe he was like the top terrorist of today in fact much millions and billions of trillions of times worse and it is said you know when krishna came to kill him or or i would say liberate liberate him because krishna does not kill he he liberates people then it is said you know that kamsa was uh, sorry uh, it's not kamsa i'm talking of kaliyavan let this is for kaliyavan kaliyavan was another uh, demon who krishna had killed all right so this kaliyavan and krishna were running and ultimately uh, kaliyavan was killed by uh, muchukunda maharaj but it is said that krishna was walking and kaliyavan was chasing him <laughs> and then krishna led him inside this uh, cave where maharaj muchukunda was sleeping and when he kicked muchukunda because he thought this is krishna and then when muchukunda got up the moment he saw he was burning into fires because muchukunda had that benediction that whoever forcefully wakes you up the moment you see him he is finished he will be burned into ashes so the the question is why why was krishna walking and kaliyavan running and still he could not catch krishna why because they say that at times kaliyavan although he was running but he was running at the same place So that that's how Krishna's divine poten uh, divine potency works. Kalevan was thinking he was running, but actually sometimes he was not running. He was running, but it's like you know running in the treadmill. 
in the gym you are you are the same place so you are not moving actually so it is not important how much we move you know it's like 10 kilometers 20 kilometers but the important thing is our our heart should be transformed our life should improve what is the use of going ahead if we still keep looking back so this eclipse will give you a feeling that there is something which you have which you are very proud of which you are very happy which you are which you cherish because of your past achievements but sometimes you will realize that that is not what i that is something which i wanted but that is not who i wanted to become so now is the time because venus has entered aquarius now is the time that you will start to feel that the process is more important than the goal and therefore now you will realize that taking small steps every day is the secret to success so you, there's no overnight success overnight success you know suppose you make one video and it goes viral but then after that what happens now so whoever is successful in whichever area of life it is politics or sports education any area success is the result of small efforts tiny efforts in fact day in day out so it is not the powerful who are successful it is the consistent who are successful and therefore this transit can give us a feeling that we achieved something or maybe something else is remaining for us to achieve but somewhere deep down the line you know, while running for that which we always wanted we we may realize that we lost ourselves all right so what it is and what you might lose and all that will depend on your horoscope of course but let us not lose ourselves in the journey it should not happen that you reach your goal and then you start thinking oh but why did i come here what was the reason was it that somebody told me you will be happier there that is where i went and i will ah oh, now what now another destination that's what happens to people even i see in corporate in it sector management sector you know they are unhappy with their jobs they are miserable they are lonely they are dying inside but they are you know going on searching you know oh, when will i get this new job you know how can i shift how can i you know go to that company you know google facebook you know. youtubers i see them obsessed with subscribers 1 million subscribers 100000 subscribers 10000 subscribers there are so many subscribers or youtubers i know they they've the, the the only thing they do every morning the first thing which they do every morning is to check their youtube channel subscribers why because they think that getting a subscriber is what is just a number today you have zero subscribers tomorrow you have 1 million subscribers your life will not change yes so it is good to get subscribers it is good to you know get the get that goal it is good to you know get a job in google or facebook it's great but don't forget that ultimately it is you who are running so all all the feelings of success and failure is going to come to you ultimately all right so let us be very focused in our goal and at the same time we also have to realize that the process is more important than the goal that is why even when it comes to spirituality many people say that oh the goal of spirituality is this that this that this that yes that's fine that's perfectly fine but in my limited experience of this material world in the last 10 15 years i would say you know, around 15 years how much all the gurus that i made bona fide authorized gurus who i met not made sorry i have seen them enjoying their spiritual path and that is why they are 
going and that is why they will one day reach that destination and those who are obsessed with some particular point in time you know, some particular destination without enjoying the process then they will fail and i have seen them fail in every aspect of their life in spiritual communities in mundane communities in all the communities only those who are having the patience to put efforts consistently and how how can you put efforts consistently if you don't like the path if you don't like the process it's not possible you can't do it artificially you have to be genuine your heart has to be in it all right so let us put our heart in whatever we do and only then venus in aquarius will bless us for the next 25 days all right so this is a very important transit so is the day of the eclipse and wish you all the best and thank you very much for your patient hearing and as usual if you want a consultation from me you can always go down to the description section of my videos and if you're new please subscribe to the channel and share the videos with your family members and loved ones all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him